What's the best thing about podcasts? It's that you can still listen to them during cream egg hunting season. Hunt down the rare white cream egg and be in with a chance to win a sweet prize of up to 10,000 euro. Join us, fellow cream egg hunters, and find out more by visiting Cadbury Island on Facebook and Twitter. Welcome into Sports Memo's betting podcast for March 5th, Tuesday edition with Alex B. Smith. We're breaking down the NHL betting boards. Alex, welcome into the podcast. How are you? Yeah, good. Thanks for having me, Drew. Doing really well. Finally in March, uh, you know, at the show, uh, you know, last week we were talking about, you know, we get into that home stretch. Uh, it's the last month before the playoffs. Back to playoffs will start about a month and two days from now. So, uh, you know, you got, got teams that are really amping up uh, the action, and Tuesdays are always a busy day in the NHL. So, uh, without further ado, let's break down some of these games. Yeah, absolutely, man. And uh, you're doing real well on the ice of late 13 and 9, 59% yeah. plus 17.2 units, last 22. NHL plays and also uh, 54% last 91 NHL plays so uh, overall profitable NHL handicapper and uh, you know hats off especially going through the whole season um, not cherry picking or anything like that so uh, you, you've been doing well uh, hopefully you can keep it up got a four percenter going tonight NHL Tuesday night big dog top play uh, big underdog tonight huh Alex yeah, absolutely. It's interesting. If you look at this betting board, I, I posted a meme about it uh, yesterday on, on Twitter, uh, which you can follow me there on, at AX Smith Sports, uh, about how this is just a chalky board. I mean, there's a lot of a huge favorites, and you're going to see that because, like I said, you got the teams getting ready for their postseason play. You got teams that are, you know, kind of retooling. Uh, they're, they're, you know, had a disappointing year and they're just trying to either play the string out or bring up some younger guys to get them some experience. So, uh, obviously, the betting lines are going to reflect that, and that's what we've seen tonight. But I think there's a couple of dogs on the board tonight with some decent value and i bet one of them uh it's my four percent play all right we got a a game here 29 30 winnipeg tampa bay two uh two of the better teams in all the nhl i mean i believe tampa bay is uh the highest points total here and we got Mm -hmm. a total of seven alex so a high high total here i I believe this is the first time uh throughout the whole season we've been doing a podcast with either you or andrew and the total has been this high as far as seven i believe that's the first time i have said that we got minus 195 uh pretty much across the board as high as minus 200 depending where you're shopping that's tampa bay laying at home and i believe winnipeg's a good team themselves so like you just said chalky high total here but uh do you think there could be value on this underdog I do, and it's interesting because this is these are the two teams I picked to play each other in the Stanley Cup Final way back in October. Uh, the Tampa Bay team is just absolutely talented and loaded, and I thought Winnipeg making the run that they did last year all the way to the Western Conference Final, uh, only because they ran into an extremely hot Vegas team. We all know about you know how the Golden Knights played last year. That's the only reason we didn't see uh, Winnipeg make that Cup Final against Washington. So uh, I thought these two teams were going to be really stacked, and the Lightning have proven that they're the team they lead all of the NHL. As you mentioned, the first team to get to a 100 points. Uh, this is the quick. They're also the set a record, uh, the quickest number of games to 50 wins. So in 66 games played, they've got their 50th win. They broke a record from the 95-96 Detroit Red Wings. Of course, that team went on to win the Stanley Cup. And they also had a record of 131 points on the on the season. That's something we may not ever see duplicated again. But this Tampa team. Uh, they'll be the ones to come close to it because they they haven't given up in a lot of games. You know, the games they've lost, they've just been exhausted. The thing I'm looking at here, though, like I said, that when you have a board like this this late in the year, a lot of dogs, a lot of favorites, sometimes you have to go around and, and you know, these derivative markets are where you have to attack uh, in order to get the profit here. I like this one to go to the draw on the three-way line or the regulation line. Uh, I could see with this game, these two teams, like you know, they play really tight styles. Uh, and, and Tampa Bay is one of the faster teams. Winnipeg likes to play with the body. They like to get physical, slow things down. I could see this being a three-to-three three game going into overtime, and we're getting some good uh, value there on that that three-way regulation line at plus three twenty-five. All right, I like it. The derivative markets, and and so for that to happen, um, at the end of the third period, they got to be tied, and you'll cash a plus mm-hmm. three hundred ticket, right? Yeah, absolutely, and, and it's something to note because uh, it's something that I play a lot in the in the postseason. I've done pretty well with this uh, during the playoffs, but but even late in the year because both teams, the main thing is obviously you want to win the game, you get two points, but even getting a point and going into overtime or a shootout, that one point toward the standing, especially uh, not so much obviously for Tampa Bay, but even but Winnipeg, right now they're in the middle of a battle with Nashville in that Central Division race. Every single point counts from here on out, not just getting wins, but even when you lose, you, you're better off losing. Uh, 
uh, going past regulation. So, uh, but check with your book as well because some places have it listed as three way line. Some people have it as regulation line, uh, and then there's even a couple of shops. I had somebody message me on Twitter about this. They're saying that the, they actually had a a minus one or plus one spread on the three way line, which I don't recommend do, betting that if you're going to do a three way look for the money line option within that so uh definitely check with your books check with the rules on that but uh usually it's listed as a three-way or regulation line and in those two terms are the same thing correct they are exactly right because because what the th- why the reason why they call it three-way line is because you could bet either side let's so let's say for example if you want to winnipeg to win the game in regulation uh which they're a huge dog, like I said, just in the money line. But on, in this particular spot, you'd be getting plus 245 uh, as opposed to plus 175. Conversely, when you have a big favorite like Tampa Bay, you'd be laying a dollar 40 to win in regulation as opposed to laying, uh, you know, upwards of 195 or 200 to win at any point in, in the time, be it regulation or in overtime. Great stuff, Alex. And, uh, I, you know, just looking at this overall board, you touched on it. Um, follow Alex on Twitter at Sports. Um, it's a, just a chalky card tonight. The Tuesday, yeah. the Tuesday slate. There is no game less than minus one thirty-five as we're talking right now. Uh, just shortly after noon Eastern time on Tuesday, March fifth. Uh, Montreal, Los Angeles is the low is the most competitively lined game, mm-hmm. minus one thirty-five. And there's a bunch that are over minus one ninety, seeing minus two hundred. Um, it, why do you think that is? Is this just the way it sets up, Alex, or this year in NHL, or coming down the stretch, this always happens? Is this the, yeah, down the stretch run? This is this is a normal thing, and, and as we get uh, further further along, especially if you have teams that have already locked up a playoff spot, can't really move uh, within the standings, and they're playing a team that's you know basically playing for a, a lottery pick. We might see. I mean, we already saw with Tampa Bay the other night; they were laying four fifteen uh, against Ottawa in a game, and, and it would end up being a, a close battle. Tampa won that one. But, uh, yeah, we're going to see some of those high numbers. It's not so much – it hasn't been like that all season. We've been seeing a lot of competitively priced numbers. Uh, but, but that's the thing. All the more reason to start using some of these other ways. Like I said, the three-way line is huge tonight because, uh, like I said, Tampa Bay moved 195. Instead of that, you can be laying $1.40, uh, you know, or a, a price like Nashville, for example. If you like them at minus 178, you think they win in regulation, you can only lay $1.25 in the winning regulation obviously we do see team games going to overtime more so you have to be a little bit uh you know to pick and choose your spots with uh a side like i said i like looking at the, the regulation line to bet with the draw uh if you see teams like tampa bay we saw them go three games in a row in the overtime uh and with against winnipeg actually in this these matchup uh we've seen the two of them go into overtime for the last seven meetings so that's another reason why i look at that that draw play at a nice plus price yeah, and, and Alex, I know you're, you're you're a White Sox fan. You know the, the baseball yep. as well. Um, and, and you bring up the north of my more north of uh, a, a four hundred favorite minus four hundred. And in baseball, that r- rarely happens. So w- would you right. say you know they're both money line betting sports? That that the NHL is kind of uh, I guess more volatile as far as one team versus the other. Maybe like kind of college basketball or college football, where you know uh, two teams go out there on the field, and and one of them is. 99 out of 100 going to beat the other side whereas in baseball that really won't happen i mean you rarely get over minus minus 300 really i mean i guess Mm -hmm. in some situations you can but is is the nhl kind of more volatile in that aspect than mlb yeah i would say so yeah because i mean like i said it's obviously with mlb being a a daily sport and you got teams playing to two three four times over uh you know so you'll see that's obviously reflecting it as well but then you have it's interesting because one of the games on the board uh minnesota nashville i have a that's one of the games i have a play uh, play on at the site but this is the that's the second leg of a back-to-back you have a lot of those early in the year and late in the year so that's kind of a, a something you can kind of compare it to because uh you know how big is the the you know flip over price when they change spots, which you know whichever side at home is something to to look at as well. So yeah, it it, it is definitely in, in that aspect, especially also too. Like I said, uh, every game in, you know turns into something different in the sense of two weeks from now we have a team that you know is falling out of the postseason race. So now they decide to bring up 
uh, you know, some guys from the AHL, some minor league guys, some younger guys, rest some of their older guys. So, like I said, those things can change over, and obviously you still have injuries being a big issue, or teams resting players. That's something else you'll see from from the, the upper teams late in the year, the, those last couple of games. Uh, we might, you know, see uh, a call-up come in and net as their number one goalie just gets rest before the playoffs start. Great stuff, as always, from Alex B. Smith. We get another game here, uh, late night action on the NHL card, or later, 9 p.m. Mm-hmm. Eastern tip, Anaheim, Arizona. But first, want to remind everyone, it is $2 Tuesday at sportsmemo.com. And we also have five or four 5% plays up at the site, which is the top-rated plays. So four guys out there with the top-rated plays, and two of them are $2 Tuesday plays. Also some discounted plays all over the place in college basketball and NHL, so a great day to check out the, the, the website. Uh, cheap prices up. Alex B. Smith up there, and uh, with the coupon code Alex Half, you can get half off of his play tonight in the NHL, his top-notch play for the clients. That's uh, coupon code A-L-E-X-H-A-L-F, Alex Half, at checkout for half off his play tonight in the NHL. Alex, let's finish it off here, 9 p.m. Oh. Eastern puck drop we got anaheim arizona five five and a half being the total depending where you're shopping minus 150 to minus 160 that's arizona laying at home yeah and you know the only thing i'm looking at here is is the total in this game uh and, and it's, it's not just the full game total but it's the, the first period total uh something that i've been talking about for quite a while and of course it was mostly first period overs that have been the big trend but this is one where the first period under Definitely looks like a strong play tonight at minus a dollar thirty. You got an Anaheim team that we've talked about on this podcast. I've talked about it on everywhere about just how bad this team is. They've only won six games since December eighteenth. Uh, the, the Ducks are definitely not going to be in the playoffs. They're more than likely going to have end up having the number one overall pick. But they have started off really slow in games, uh, and it makes sense because you got quality teams that go up against them like i mentioned we have this this big divide of a team that's uh you know in a playoff race playing against a team that's just kind of trying to finish up the season as, as nicely as they can uh you'll see where that that better team will probably take it a little easy uh or, or sometimes conversely you'll see the power team want to put a, another opponent away but with the the lesser qualifies less you know the weaker team they want to slow things down they know that all right listen we're gonna have that we're gonna have a full battle on our hands against the top uh, tier opponent we've got to dominate the pace so that usually means slowing things down and that's what the ducks do they've had nine of their last 10 games uh have gone under the total in the first period conversely with arizona their team that we've seen go uh hit and miss with their offense as well uh, like i said i could just see this you know and arizona's on the outside looking uh, looking up in that playoff race in the West, they are more than likely going to be missing as well. So these are two division rivals. I expect a tight battle and a low-scoring first period. All right, like the low-scoring first period there. Um, Alex, anything else you want to throw out before uh, we shut this down? Uh, no, like I said, just you know, check out the website, you know, at Sports Memo, and you know, get my play there. Like I said, a lot of you know, we got some some guys that are really stepping out with some some five unit plays. So the, definitely, I'm, I'll be checking some of those out myself. So you know, it's a good time to get on board. Like I said, March is is a great month for sports betting between hoops and hockey. Uh, the AAF is going strong as well too. So definitely a good time to check everybody out at uh, at Sports Memo. And uh, like I said, just you know, check me and Andrew out as, as well as far as hockey goes because this is this is the time where we really get heated up and and you want to get into a, a role now and then you know get your bankroll built up for the get ready for the Stanley Cup playoffs um, like I said just a month and a couple of days from now yeah and we'll have packages up for that uh, special discounted packages on the NHL for Alex B. Smith and uh, Alex where are you now are you in Chicago or Minnesota I'm currently now in St. Paul and it is not snowing today thankfully that that's good it is uh, I think below zero still like the temperature is maybe zero or one above so uh, but uh, yeah yeah in Minnesota here now so uh, you know it's um like I said, get, ho- hopefully going to warm up quicker with our wallets than we will in, uh, outside. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope so. For your sake, do you go out <laughs> outside uh, with with that type of weather? Yeah, I mean we got we have our skyway system. I live I do live downtown, so there's like a little kind of like walkway, so we don't have to be outside enough. But I mean, after a while, you just you, you layer up, and uh, it, it's not really that bad. It gets so cold where the only thing you really have to worry about is keeping your body temperature warm. Like you can't control the outside element. So as long as you're warm, then you're doing all right. All right, man. Well said. And, uh, yeah, follow Alex on Twitter at AXSmithSports. And uh, the coupon code, guys, AlexHalf for half off his tonight's NHL play. 
at sportsmemo.com. It's two dollar Tuesday. Check out the site. Get two plays for just two bucks. Also, uh, two other five percent plays up at the site. So uh, check it out, sportsmemo.com. We'll be back tomorrow talking to Nick Barman about uh, soccer and golf betting boards. So uh, best of luck with your bets. Talk to you tomorrow, guys. What's the best thing about podcasts? It's that you can still listen to them during cream egg hunting season. Hunt down the rare white cream egg and be in with a chance to win a sweet prize of up to €10,000. Join us, fellow cream egg hunters, and find out more by visiting Cadbury Island on Facebook and Twitter. What's the best thing about podcasts? It's that you can still listen to them during cream egg hunting season. Hunt down the rare white cream egg and be in with a chance to win a sweet prize of up to €10,000. Join us, fellow cream egg hunters, and find out more by visiting Cadbury Island on Facebook and Twitter.